Hi families. I am going to walk you through using Google Classroom just to give you a little bit more of an insight and what you can do to check if your child is doing the assignments that need to be completed and how to add photos if your teachers are asking for photos or links. So come on with me and I'm going to show you a little bit more into Google Classroom. So when you log into Google Classroom through your child's account, you will see different classes that they might be entered into. So once you click on one of them, you're going to get into the classroom, um, the specific teacher or subject area that you want to look for. So this main page is almost like a news feed. It's going to have announcements. It's going to have the new updates and you can scroll and take a look at what is new and it'll tell you the time, the date that it was added and you can kind of keep track that way. If you look over here on this top left, you're going to see different assignments. You can click view all and you will see all assignments for your child and when they are due. You'll see that it says assigned. If something is assigned, you'll see it says completed. If you did something, you will see missing if your child did not hand that in and when it's due. So if something is due, you, you want to make sure that it's done at that time. So this is saying missing because it was due yesterday and there was no submission. So if I were to click on this, I can see details and go right in and see what this assignment is. Now this is linking me to our Pearson website for math. So you would have to go through this, but your child can hit mark as done when it is done just to alert the teacher that they finished that assignment. And now if we go back to all of the assignments, you will see that it now says turned in. It does say late, but it's turned in. So you do want to make sure that your child is getting the assignments done if there are due dates, because it will alert the teacher when they submitted. So on this main screen under topics, the teacher may have sorted everything by the topic that you want to look. So you can scroll down to math and you can see exactly what's for math or what's for reading, um, any daily assignments. So if I were to click this, I can open it up and the teacher might attach a Google slide or something else for you to look at. So make sure you're going through everything with your child so that they're able to understand it all. And then if you have to do any type of submitting any kind of work, I'm just going to walk you through how you might do that. So if I look here for this assignment, I can see here that this assignment I'm able to type right in. So for typing in, you can just type in your child, can type in their name, and you can go through and you would be able to add in your information. Now, just for parents to be aware, if you want to attach any type of images, if you're taking a picture from your cell phone and you want to attach it for the teacher to see, you can attach it in a few ways. You can email it to your child, um, to your email and get it on your computer. And you can hit insert image and hit upload from your computer. And you'll be able to upload that right from there. If you have your child's Google Drive account on your phone, you can upload it directly to Google Drive and you would be able to insert an image from Google Drive and that would make it easy also to upload an image. If you have um, a video, you can do the same thing. You can upload a video from YouTube or from Google Drive and insert it in for your child's teacher to see. You can also add any um, type of shapes or text boxes in this section. So if your child wants to add in any kind of drawings or anything that they need to show, they can come in here. Like let's say I just wanna add a circle. I can put that circle in. The paint color always is the inside fill. The line color is always the outline. And then the, the um, little lines are how thick it is. 
okay? You have the option of changing any font under font. You can change the size. You can change bold, italics, underline, colors. This should all be similar to everything else. So keep that in mind when you are working. And you might want to use that turn in button so that your child's teacher knows that you submitted it, that your child submitted it. If you have a question, you can always just ask them in the private comment here and let them know that you might be struggling with something. If you go back to the home screen, you can also hit calendar. This will give you a detailed list of what assignments are due each day. So this is a good way to keep track of everything. If you click on it, it will bring you right to the assignment. You can also go to the to-do list and you can see by all classes what needs to be done or what might be already submitted. If you need to review anything by your teacher. So take a look through that. I hope this helped you understand Google Classroom a little bit more. If you have any questions, please let your child's teacher know.